so the first thing uh, yeah in the previous video where we left off is we started creating an enforcement for policy okay so what we do is tips role equals user authenticated that basically means nothing but user authentication is successful only then you will get this user authenticated role okay so then what we define is tips posture posture is nothing but your health check token whether you are healthy or not so tips posture equals healthy if he is healthy then i will go ahead and send him the full access role fine this is one policy the next policy will say the same thing tips role equals user authenticated but here i will say tips posture not equals healthy so it could be anything it could be quarantine it could be unknown whatever it is initially when you try to uh, authenticate right when you perform dot one x authentication it has not performed health check so the health status will be unknown in that in that status also it will be placed into the quarantine vlan or quarantine role so we'll just say if it is unhealthy or not healthy here it is not equals healthy then i will put it in quarantine and then i'll go ahead and save this so now we have created enforcement profile with which we are going to send the role we have defined a policy where we say if it's healthy send full access if it's not healthy then send quarantine now we are going to tie this down in a service okay so i will first create a service click on add i'll say 802.1x wireless uh the other way of doing it is where you can easily get the ssid so you just say a aruba 802.1x wireless service actually let's let's not do that it will just make things we are doing this since yesterday so 802.1x wireless i'll just say this one as ab.1x service fine and over here i'll specify my ssid so that it will hit this particular service so i'll say radius aruba ssid equals I think this is the one that I had created. No, it's just A B. So this is the first rule, so that it hits this service. After that, I will perform authentication against my local user repository. Uh, this could be A D if you have an A D infrastructure. Then here I will select the enforcement policy that I had created. Okay. So AB corporate policy is the enforcement policy I had created. If it's healthy, full access. If it's not healthy, then quarantine. And then just save this. Fine. So this is my dot one x service already created and ready to go. Now the only service that I have to add is a service which will perform health check. Okay. So the for, for posture check you have to add one more service. so when it's trying to communicate the health details as to what all things i have on this pc i need a service for that okay so the way to do it is again very simple you click on add in this you say web based health check only instead of 802.1x wireless we are now selecting web based health check only so you just name it and say posture compliance i want posture compliance so you have to check this okay now remember in posture compliance we had created a posture policy which was ab posture policy that was the first step that we had created once we select that if you want auto remediation enabled globally by auto remediation what i mean is if your firewall is not turned on it will automatic the agent will automatically go on go and turn on that firewall if your dat files are not updated the agent will go and try to update those dat files if you want that to be enabled you click on this one okay after that you go to enforcement here you will usually uh, what you will add is one more enforcement policy what you need to do basically is you just have to bounce the client okay and i'll tell you the reason why uh, don't get confused this video is just for reference once the entire flow is finished you will understand why we are bouncing it okay so i just create one more enforcement policy saying ab health check in that i will put default as aruba terminate session terminate session what it does is 
it will disconnect the client and by inherent nature of dot one x it will try to connect again okay so the this disconnection happens using coa because of which we enable coa in the iap okay so now uh, then i click on next here i will add a rule saying tips posture equals healthy then also you have to terminate the session even if it's not healthy no no this is fine tips posture quarantine then also you have to terminate the session this is redundant work not required because default is uh, terminate session anyways but this just gives a clear understanding that's why i have put it apart from that you have you can also add messages here okay i'll get into that as well so for example you can uh, there'll be a pop up that comes uh, once you finish the health check there'll be a pop up so with the terminate session you can send something called as agent entity update so i'm sorry agent profile so let's see if it's there by default or not so so it's not there by default we have to create it uh, that's why I, i'll show it i mean i'll show it to you later i don't want to add confusion so this is this is the basic piece of it and your service is configured now for health check fine only thing that we have to do here is uh first step is select web based health check service only when you are trying to add it after that posture compliance select the posture policy that you have created and in the enforcement you just define healthy or not healthy i just wanted to terminate the session okay then make sure you select your enforcement policy that you have created so now the flow is first the user performs dot one x authentication once he authenticates he'll go into quarantine vlan because his health status is unknown so when the user connects his health status is unknown which is not healthy so it will fall to this role and it will get quarantine role fall to this rule rather and it will fall into quarantine role is that clear this is what we had done yesterday yesterday this has been done by everyone user first goes into quarantine after that since in quarantine role the user has access to clear pass policy manager it will perform health check in that in that event what will happen is the next service will get triggered which is the health check where it will check all the details of the machine once the health check is successful it will terminate the session once it terminates the session now clear pass knows whether that client is healthy or quarantine okay because it has performed the health check so then what it will do is it will try to connect again this time it will see if it is healthy or not healthy and based on that it will give it full access or quarantine now another thing to remember is we are getting the posture token from the previous service previous service tells us whether it's healthy or not healthy so we have to check this use cached roles and posture attributes from previous session okay this is not required if you are only performing dot one x but for nac this is required okay so click save and that's it you're done one 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 minute questions later because i'm recording i'll i'll get back to you so uh this is the only thing that needs to be configured now once you authenticate right once this starts working on the access tracker you will see three requests one is first is the dot one x request that will come in user will get placed into quarantine role then it performs health check once the health check is done for that you will see a web auth request in the access tracker once health check is done it gets disconnected it connects again so another dot one x request so it we call it a sandwich flow basically one dot one x one web auth one dot one x so it's like a web auth between two dot one x okay so that's how it will see i mean that's how you will uh, see it on the access tracker so hope that is clear these two videos will be able to uh, act as a reference point for you and now you should be able to configure it yourself uh don't i mean i'll delete my services don't uh, let, let me first stop the recording